participation about his well, that India. Olympic talks really Olympic continues in Rajpath uh, right uh, now. We've already seen about 15 or 18 odd torch bearers. They've already finished. Uh, they've passed on their torch. And it's extremely truncated, as you could see. That man there could only walk a few steps. Uh, Himanshu, it's, it's almost bizarre. Uh, it's, it's a very, very short route. That's what it, it's turned out to be, 2.3 kilometers long. We've seen uh, a few people, torch bearers there, just taking a few steps, and that's it. Their turn is over. Well, uh, as far as uh, the route is concerned, as far as uh, the absence of a few international or, the, uh, or a few of the Indian celebrities is concerned, um, you know, most of the uh, most of the athletes or most of the celebrities I met uh, during during the ceremony, uh, you know, which took place a short while back, most of them said that the Olympic movement is is basically meant for peace, harmony, and unity across the globe, and it and it's, and it's bigger than uh, than a lot of other things. Whether a lot of people take part in it, whether the route is short or whether it's long. Uh, that, that's immaterial. You know, the only thing that really matters for these athletes and for uh, and for these celebrities here is the passion, the passion uh, towards the torch and towards towards uh, a bigger aim, a bigger motive, which is which is the Olympic Games, and of course promoting peace, harmony, and unity across the globe. Right, and uh, let's go across now to our correspondent Arunode Mukherjee, who's at India Gate, where that torch relay is uh, slated to end. Arunode, what do you see from uh, from there? We understand there's hardly any public, uh, not very surprising because of the security that we we are seeing on our screens right now. But what what is it that you can see from your vantage point? Well, uh, Venkatesh, yes, definitely there is very little uh, general public over here, considering the kind of security precautions that the that the authorities have taken. But uh, we do have. Uh, heavy uh, presence of dignitaries already, diplomats from various countries who've been, who, who are state guests, they have arrived. Uh, we have the sports minister over here, Mr. Gill, he has also arrived. Uh, he was uh, speaking to the media a short while back. Uh, we also have uh, um, uh, uh, some uh, actors and actresses also who have uh, assembled here. So clearly everyone uh, at the culmination point of the Olympic torch relay to welcome uh, uh, that the torch which is uh, bound to reach uh, uh, any moment now, Venkatesh. And uh, any sign at all? It, it seems like the worst fears of the government of India have not been realized. We haven't had any incident whatsoever. The Tibetan protests are uh, going on peacefully at Jantar Mantar. Well, that's what it looks like uh, so far, Venkatesh. Uh, things fortunately have remained uh, calm. There have been uh, uh, some sort of uneasy protests in, uh, in some parts of the capital. Uh, of course, Jantar Mantar and of course that parallel torch relay that has been happening throughout the day. There have been sporadic instances where the police has had to resort to uh, making a few arrests, uh, detaining a few people to maintain the larger, maintain law and order on a, on large, on a larger scale. Uh, but things so far look, look smooth. In fact, even uh, people over here, even some, the Chinese dignitaries over here are all, uh, whoever we've interacted with, they're saying that, uh, you know, the Olympic it's meant for peace. It, 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 they are holding huge banners promoting peace. Uh, even the dignitaries who are here, they are saying that let's not forget that the Olympic torch also stands for 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 a, for a, for a larger uh, team, really, uh, where, where sports persons who've been working so hard for a long time finally get to uh, get to display their talent. So let's not forget all of that in the in the amidst all the protests. While while the Tibetan protest is also important, let's also give uh, a fair amount of. Uh, to um, uh, the torch that has arrived in Delhi and about to end uh, at, at the India Gate. Right, uh, Aruna, they do stay with us. Himanshu, contrast for us what happened four years ago. It was much longer, the Olympic uh, torch relay before the Athens Olympics. And this time it's almost bizarre what we're seeing. Uh, torch bearers not uh, uh, being able to run, not more than a few paces before they pass it on and hardly any public to cheer the Olympic torch relay uh, on at all. So contrast for us, four years back it was entirely different, wasn't it? Absolutely. If I were to um, compare uh, the, the, torch, the Olympic torch relay ceremony happening right now with, with the one that took place in 2004, there would be a lot of differences. Uh, in 2004, we had more than, a, um, you know, almost 100 odd, uh, uh, 100 odd runners, while this time around we only had 70. Uh, the, the route was almost 33 kilometers long uh, in 2004, which is only limited to about 2 kilometers this time around, which is, which is almost uh, nothing. Um, last time around, we had people from all walks of life, uh, you know, coming in and cheering up uh, the, the Olympic torch bearers. And also, uh, being amongst uh, the Olympic torch bearers, we had people like Aishwarya Rai, Amir Khan, Vivek Oberoi, Kapil Dev, Rahul Dravid, Virendra Sehwag, all kinds of people from different fields uh, being uh, being involved in the torch relay process. But this time around, we don't have, uh, uh, you know, sort of a mass participation, something that we can actually call as a mass participation. We don't have people from all walks of life, we, though, though we have uh, a lot of athletes and a lot of uh, Bollywood celebrities as well, but still, it's it's nothing compared to what happened the last time around. Perhaps 
uh, the, the fears are valid. Uh, there have been, there have been uh, signs of protest across the world and uh, perhaps that's one of the biggest reasons why the Olympic torch uh, relay ceremony this time around hasn't been on, on a much bigger scale. Indeed, uh, I remember last time uh, the torch relay began at at Kutub Minar and ended up uh, towards so India Gate in the evening. It took uh, a good part of about five hours. This time round, the torch relay right, looks all set to finish in about uh, 20 minutes uh, time uh, or little less than that. And uh, already we are seeing, of course, that it's well away now. The torch relay has uh, taken off. It's, it's heading towards India Gate. Perhaps already half the distance has been covered and uh, the contestants there moving towards India Gate. Sheila Dixit was the Icons first Indian, the Chief Minister of Delhi, to be handed the Olympic flame earlier, about 15 minutes ago. She then gave it to the President of the Indian Olympic Association, Suresh Kalmadi, who in turn uh, passed on the torch to Milka Singh, probably the greatest living uh, Indian Olympian uh, right now. Milka Singh, uh, who had earlier said that it, it is not a good idea to mix politics and he had said this in response to Bhai Bhutia, India's uh, star footballer, when Bhutia decided not to take part in this relay on the grounds that he supports the cause of Tibet. And Milka Singh had said uh, that it is not a good idea to mix politics and sport. So we've, we've really seen, uh, as we are on the screens right now, people from different walks of life, mainly sports persons, mind you, but also uh, celebrities from the world of entertainment, from the world of business, from the world of politics, from really all walks of life in India. Seventy people have, are taking part in this thoughts really not the 400 odd that we saw four years ago as Himanshu Singhal was explaining to us. Uh, I don't know that if, uh, I, I wonder if you can hear me right now, how far are we uh, towards the end of this torch relay right now? It looks like we are unable to um, establish that connection with Arunodhya Mukherjee, but uh, that torch relay is still very much on. This torch slated to, do, to go to Bangkok afterwards, after the India leg is over. You can see that top shot there, about a third of the distance has been covered from Ra Rashtrapati Bhavan, Raisina Hill, uh, to be precise, towards India Gate. All right, Arunodhya, if I can... Uh, if, I, if you can hear me once again, Arunodhya, I was just asking uh, if you can see from where you are right now, how much longer before the start relay is over? Well, I don't think very long, thank you, Ish. Well, we are, of course, we are uh, behind the uh, heavy security blanket over there, but in the distance, uh, through the arches of India Gate, I can see a uh, uh, white color spot which uh, was late to lead that march. I can Ian and I have been very on Digvijay Singh Deo with that Olympic torch, Arunodhya. I don't know if you will be able to see this, but it's really something that Digvijay will be enjoying every second of that, I can tell you. And he will be with us uh, a short while later. He'll be talking about what it feels, what it feels like to be carrying that torch as a representative of the Indian media. So that's uh, Digvijay Singh Dio of CNN IBM, the only journalist uh, in India to be given the honor of carrying the Olympic torch. And his turn is over. Unfortunately, not very long uh, for Digvijay Singh Dio, and we'll be speaking to him a little later. But I don't know. There, I was speaking to you. I, I wonder if you got that sight there. Uh, can you see it all? In fact, uh, from India Gate, the entire torch bearers, or is it all obscured in a in, in, in a sea of khaki and uh, security personnel? Well, that, that's pretty much it. Thank you. Uh, we're, we're behind a heavy, heavy security blanket. Uh, there's uh, there, there's cordons everywhere, but in the distance, I can see uh, uh, a bus which was supposed to be leading that march, so we are predicting that uh, the, the torch is well on its way and it should arrive uh, at a culmination point any moment.